What's up, guys? Welcome to Channel Chat. What? Is, what? Why are we doing this in the dark? Well, we can't do Channel Chat in the dark. What? I know, but a guy commented and said we shouldn't, so I wanted to try. I guess we can't. Welcome to Channel Chat, the show where we talk about stuff going on with the channel. I am Chase on Two Wheels. And I'm Heather DT. So thanks to, drum roll please, <laughs> Derek, <laughs> that was a great drum roll, <laughs> <laughs> Derek Lowe, for uh, suggesting last week's uh, Game of Things, uh, Things You Shouldn't Do in the Dark, um, Channel Chat, because we couldn't see a thing. <laughs> So, uh, Derek Lowe, if you will email us at chaseontwowheels at gmail.com, your address, we will send you a decal to you. Oh. Fail. Hold on, hold on. We will send it to you. That one actually did okay. So, uh. All right, guys, moving right along to mail. We have some awkward-sized packages. So, <laughs> we haven't got to open them all this week. I have wanted to very badly, but I was going to hold off for channel chat. Mm. So, uh, let's get this stuff opened. Good God. Alrighty, guys, we'll go from this side of the table to th that, that side. Um, <laughs> starting off, we have Corey L. Corey L is what I would say. We got Destiny freaking wristband things that look awesome. Dear Chase and Heather, you read. I'm going to put a wristband on. Okay. Chase, I've been watching your videos since you first started. The good old... SV650 days. I can honestly say that you've come far in your content editing skills, which makes me love your videos more and more. I just got myself a 2012 R6 and I absolutely love it. You have inspired me to become a better writer every day. I wish I lived closer to Georgia so I can come to one of your meets, but I live in New Mexico. One of these days it'll happen. Play in traffic and ride safe. P.S. Heather, I hope to see your riding skills improve and start making dual, vo dual vlogs with Chase. You're off to a good start. Keep it up. Ride safe. Smiley face, Corey. Sweet. Corey, thanks for those. There you go. There's your honorary you. become a legend. Is that what it says? Become a legend. Yes. If you watch me play Destiny on my CG Dub Games channel, you'll realize I'm very far from being a legend, but I'm working on it. Moving on, we got two extra ones so we can give those to people. All right, the next package we have. Dear Chase, I hope this letter finds you and head at ET in good health and happiness. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Chris. I live in Rhode Island and spend my nights protecting the streets as a police officer in Connecticut. I started following motovloggers such as yourself, Yummy, Downshift, ZJ, Metanocity, Sticker Bomb, and many more for the past few months or so. I would like to say you are doing a great job with the videos. You are very entertaining and fun to watch. Your videos have inspired me to start motovlogging myself. I've started a channel with some beginner vlogs and I'm just waiting to get all my equipment situated and then I'm off and running on the bike. Currently on a 05 Victory Vegas that was given to me by my wife as a wedding gift. Crazy, right? That's cool. Oh, I'm also currently looking to get a DRZ 400 as well. I have a motocross background and feel at home on a super moto. Say hi to Head of DT for me and the videos of you guys together are always fun to watch. Keep up. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to say, okay, so, yeah. Uh, keep up the good work with the writing head at ET. Congrats to you for succeeding in something you are so passionate about as you are with your YouTube channel. I wish you and head at ET all the luck in the world, and I look forward to many, many more videos. I will keep it short and leave you with this. I have included my department patch. Patches are exchanged between officers as a sign of mutual respect and brotherhood. I'm glad to see someone putting themselves out there to entertain and educate others. You are an inspiration and a role model to many. Keep up the good work and please ride safe. Maybe someday I will find my way down your way and can ride with you. Four wheels move the body, two wheels move the soul. Ride safe, Chris, a.k.a. Road Rage 613. All righty, really nice. well, Road Rage 6 what? 13. 
Road Rage 613. That is what we shall call you because in this household, we don't call motor vloggers their actual name. Makes it a lot easier on us. So your name is now Road Rage 613. So thank you for the patch, boss man. Much appreciated. I don't know how we're going to display that in, in the CJ of headquarters, but we will find a way. We will find a way. We will find a way. Moving on to um, Key Bar. I don't know what a key bar is. But I knew we were getting something from this mystery key bar thing. I looked at their Instagram the other day. They have a crap ton of followers. Yeah, oh, you showed me that. Yeah, they killing it on Instagram, making us look bad. So, I think both one is for me, one is for you. Maybe let's pretend that. Hey, Chase, my name is Mike Blank, owner of Key Bar, based in Savannah, Georgia. Georgia, what? What? <laughs> I'm a big fan. I do motor vlogging under the YouTube name at TMT Racing. Then I've taken a backseat since I started Key Bar. I thought you would like to, these custom Key Bars. One is carbon fiber titanium, and the other is full titanium. The lanyard link is titanium, and the remaining hardware is stainless steel. Really like what you are doing. Keep up the good work. If you would like to tell your followers about us, please give them the code c 2 Dove for 10% off. Okay, so nice. whatever's in this box... You guys can get 10% off with a coupon code C2Dub. So that's a thing. Ooh. What the hell is that? Oh no, a key bar. Holy shit, oh, this has got... cool. Do you see this? Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, cool. That's amazing. Oh, look at this side. Holy balls. It's a key bar. Oh my god, this is crazy. There's instructions oh, yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on now. Hold on, just so you guys understand why I'm excited about this. One second. This is why I'm excited about this. You see this shit? There's like 15 keys. How's a motherfucker supposed to know where a key is? Mike, we gonna use these bad boys. Trust me. You trust. So I just realized just now that this is a memory stick made to be like a key to include in the key bar. Balls. Cool. <laughs> Balls. That's amazing. Um, this is badass. I'm really excited to uh, to start using these. And we got decals. Fudays. You and these freaking decals. You gotta stop. I feel like a pimp when I do that, though. All right, guys. So uh, go check out keybar.us and uh, tell Mike where you went came from. And use that c 2 coupon code because you can get them for cheap. Woohoo! Wait, I just realized you didn't introduce my new lead pin shirt. Oh, we got lead pin shirts. So, moving on here, there's uh, only one guy so far that. Oh, really? Well, there you, goes he the, dick. the dick. Does it look okay? I'm put, that's the thumbnail right there. Is you holding the dick, pointing it at you. <laughs> <laughs> My family watches this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, there's only one guy that sends us packages in blue art tape. So I'm sure this is from Check Your 06. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I can't really read that. Can you read At that? Head at ET, I got one for you with the Supermoto on it. Or R6. Just tell me which one you want, and I'll get it to you. Hope you guys like the rough sketch. It's only the beginning. Love from Florida. All right, guys. So, check your R6 is the same guy that sent us that. Man, that dick. Am I right? <laughs> I think we should just lay the dick on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking slippery dick. So, uh, new sticker. Hope you like it. Still got some work to do, but I thought it, it came out pretty nice. So yeah, guys, uh, check your R6 is the same uh, same guy that sent us Big Blue number one, Big, Big Blue number two with the scary ass doll and shit. And now we got a baby blue, so that's cool. And uh, we got some decals, so it's like a clock, and you can like put check your R6 in the middle thing. Oh, okay. I saw this on his bike, so it's uh, it's cheating. Check your R6, sir. Thank you, sir. sir, 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 sir for the decal. It'll go on our decal wall of awesome. Thank you very much. All right, moving right along so we can get to the this this thing. We got a letter-ish thing from Zach T from Minnesota. 
And I thought this came, it looks like something that came out of like a giant fortune cookie. Yeah. That moment when you have to pee and there's no, and there is no open stall or urinal. You have to pee so bad, start to drip and drip and drip. You hear others. You can feel your pants get wetter and wetter. Then it happened. You see it. Your relief. A shoe. An old, worn out, jacked up shoe. Unzip, pull down, and let it loose. Then someone says, Stop peeing on me. Then you see there's a hobo fisty, fist flying. <laughs> then you see there's a hobo fist flying at you. Then you wake up in jail for peeing on a hobo. You find Zach, Yummy R6, next to you. Then he says, He went to jail for the same reason. The end. I thought the dick was the weirdest thing we got today. <laughs> I was wrong. On to the dick. Who sent the dick? That's the mystery. What? Hugh Johnson. I told you when we were picking that up that it was funny that that was the name. Yeah. Chase, really? <laughs> So, um, so guys, we got a package from, um, Hugh Johnson from, uh, Portland, Oregon. He sent us a, and hold on, I, I want to be correct here. I don't want to say the incorrect thing. A, uh, he sent us a ship a dick. Send a giant cardboard dick to anyone. Shipadick.com. That is a website. We have proof. It, it's called shipadick.com. Obviously... Uh, they provide high quality, um... I think we need to hang this somewhere. You want to hang the ship a dick in, in <laughs> our home. Well, thank you, Hugh Johnson. We can show it off at holiday parties and... Yep, we definitely could. Oh, God. No, <laughs> there's so many. We need to get this off the screen. <laughs> Look at it. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Whee! Okay, we have to get to comments. All right, guys. So last Tuesday's video was go karting with Moto Vloggers. It was an awesome time. It was a video from when we went up and surprised Yummy R6 for his birthday. We had some guests like Sticker Bomb and and Downshift eighty three. Had a really fun time. So one of the comments from that. Miss C2 Dub would kick all your asses. I guess that's why she didn't join in. It is. I didn't want to embarrass them, but I knew that they were, you know, it was a crowd of uh, testosterone and, you know, men, they don't like to get beat by girls for some reason. They well, don't. men don't like to get beat, period. But, I mean, by girls, it's, it's even more of an insult. So, um, so yeah, I found out real quick that, you know, I really suck at go-karts. I thought... Uh, when I was a kid, I could I was like really good at go karts. So then when we found out we were gonna go do go karts, I was like, oh my god, this is my moment. <laughs> this is your moment to shine. This is my, this is my moment. And uh, yeah, that got ruined real fast. Um, all the little skinny guys were like, I'm fast. And then once I realized that I couldn't win, I real I, I you know I came to the realization that just drifting the whole time would probably be the best thing I could do. So that's what I did, and it was fun. So, yeah, you don't have to win. Kids, you don't have to win to have fun. You just have to have to drift a go-kart around the corner. I like the comment. I don't know if I... I don't think we have it, but there was a comment about you should have put in a banana peel on the track when you slid out. That was... I thought that, that would have been an actual... I would idea. like to do that if I had the time. I, I could do that in post-processing. You have just as much time of the day as Beyonce. Listen, just because you read stuff on Pinterest <laughs> don't mean you can come spitting it at me. Anyway, thank Cosmic Goo 2 for that comment. Next! Alright, so the next comment, Gal Megan, maybe. Haha, -ha, exclamation mark. You need to work on the go-kart skills. That is not how you spell skills, but it's okay because I can't spell either. What will happen if you ever enter, if you will enter your R6 into that small track? What would happen if I took Holly into that small track? I would uh, put her my ass around. <laughs> now, if I had tea, I might do a little dumbish. I would do a wheelie through the straights, just saying. <laughs> Alright guys, so last Friday's video, slightly a uh, controversial <laughs> episode of Chase on Two Wheels, 
we had my thoughts and opinions on the 2015 Yamaha R1 that got introduced. And uh, the, the, the comments were interesting. Some people agreeing with my opinion. Some people um, strongly disagreeing with my opinion. <laughs> As, uh, and that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's totally fine. Uh, it was also the first video that was 60 frames a second on the channel. Yeah, it looked great. Yeah, there it was. A, it's amazing how big of a difference there is. So uh, the first comment, six to midnight. I think I'm more excited about sixty frames per second than the R1. I picked that one because the majority of the well, I haven't said the majority. Half and half was talking about the the uh, sixty frames, and then the other half was about. The yeah, I was surprised how many comments were about the sixty frames a second because there was a huge amount of people uh, that said that. All right, so Nazrul Ashraf. I'm sorry about that. I, there's no damn way in hell that I said that right. Now, is it just me, or the R, or the new R1's headlights look like a paperclip guy from Microsoft Word? And Chase, I completely agree with you about the headlights being an important thing about the bike's looks. Um, so, obviously, being the age we are, when I was in school, and I assume you had the same thing, we were in, like, Word class, and you were learning to type. The little dude hopped up in Microsoft Word. If you guys are young, you probably don't know it. I'll put a picture up, but when we looked it up, just to kind of like refresh our memory, his little eyebrows and his his eyes, it's stupid how close it looks to an R1. So I'm going to hate myself. Actually, I saw it. No, I mean, that one was funny, and I haven't seen that yet or hadn't heard that comment yet about the headlights, but I did see a meme about the headlights recently, and it was of Sid the Sloth, I think, from Ice Age, maybe? Yeah. That one has been the funniest one to me, but I hadn't seen that one. America Danius says, I have to defend Yamaha. Look at the tw 2004 M1, 10 years ago when the 1199 Panigale didn't exist. So, that's what I've heard the most, is that it looks like an M1. It looks like an old M1. Yeah. And... I think there's like a disconnect for people that don't aren't really like hardcore into motorcycle racing. Yeah. And I've I've never like I, I'll watch it if it's on TV I'll definitely watch that shit because that's amazing. But I mean 2004 like there I wasn't even riding I wasn't even like thinking of riding in 2004 so. Yes, you were. Okay, no, I'm not thinking about riding, but I, I'm talking like doing it hardcore wasn't even research. The, yeah, no. Yeah, so. Um, if it does look like an M4, I still have another research to look into what the M1 looks like. So, if it did, I am apologize. I'm going to plead ignorance. Well, no, I put that in there so that we would actually research it and look it up and see. Yeah, so, hey, if you guys are wondering what an M1, M1, and what a 2004 M1 looks like, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Oh, that's where they got the 2015 oh. from. Oh. The... Terminator, spelled T-H-A, Terminator. Am I the only one who hated the old R1 headlights? That's why, given the choice, I went R6 over R1. Yes. Yes, you are. No, I wouldn't say that that's true because when I first saw the Blasphemy. R1... Blasphemy. The first time I saw the R1 that Downshift has, whatever model that is. The 2009 to the 2014. The first time I saw it, I didn't like it either. I didn't like, I felt like it was, the lights looked like bug eyes and whatever, but eventually it grew on me and now I love the headlights. So I think it might be just like, I don't know. I didn't like them the first time I saw them, so I can relate. Yeah, I, I will say I'm sure that the 2015 will grow and evolve into something cool. Just Let's like hope. everything else does. Alrighty, guys, that is it for the comments this week. On to the Q&A question. And the Q&A question is... Something we got from Twitter. Someone asked, uh, and we can put the tweet on the screen, right? Tweet that shit right here. Okay, so the tweet was... You can read it, but it says something like, What was the fastest you've ever gone in a car? Um, the, so the fastest I've ever gone in a car is... Probably when I had my yellow Mustang, I don't know, I probably went like 125 to 130, yeah, something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Driving, I would say my, my Corvette, and then riding. Would you mean be, your Camaro? I mean my Camaro. And then riding would either be with you and the Mustang or dad and the Corvette. I would almost be willing to bet your dad's Corvette has gone, at some point, has gone faster than my Mustang. 
did. I'm sure, but I don't know if I was in it when it Oh, happened. yeah, true. All righty. Thanks for submitting that Q&A. We look forward to doing more next time. Okay, guys, so now that we've done comments, mail, uh, Q&A, it's time for that new question for the game of things. So this week it's going to be things that make you uncomfortable. I can think of one thing that makes me uncomfortable. Getting a giant cardboard penis in the mail. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching Channel Chat this week. If you want to <laughs> enter into a win... In the, oh my god, the dick is throwing me off. <laughs> if you want to enter to win uh, the decal we give out once a week, uh, comment below the Game of Things question or what your answer to that is. Uh, P.O. Box us stuff at P.O. Box 673722. Marietta, Georgia, 30006. Send us stuff there. We'll open it here on the, the channel. Thanks again to all the guys that sent us stuff, especially this Q-Bar thing. I'm really excited yeah. to check this thing out. Uh, once again, you can get a coupon code for 10% off key, uh, key bars. Links and all the awesome stuff will be in the description, guys. We will see you guys on... I will see you guys on Tuesday. We will see you guys next Monday. Toodles. Bye.